we are here at Workington Station because we finally decided we're going to go and explore some of the Cumbrian coast. So we've been here one day already. We stayed the night in Workington and yesterday we did all the stations between Carlisle and Corkicle. Very cool station name. I, um, I love the name Corkicle, it's so good. We, it we sounds did, made up. We, did, we <laughs> did those off camera, but, so, but today we're going to be doing some of the stations between Barrow and St. Bees. And uh, yeah, hopefully it should be quite fun. I'm under the assumption that the signs here say Workington, Maine because there used to be another station in Workington that was not Maine. Which would make sense because there is a disused line that does go through the town. So for these days out we have had and are having, uh, we've got Northwest rovers and the funny thing about these is the fact that they have the usual sort of you know no using it on weekdays before 9 a.m but weirdly that doesn't apply on the Cumbrian coastline between Barrow and Furness and Carlisle so we've been able to board this 859 service with no restriction. Harrington station here by the way also the birthplace of unsurprisingly the Harrington hump We've left St. Bees and we are on the beautiful coastline, we've got the sea. Uh, we should be passing Nethertown and Braystones, which are the only two remaining request stops on this line. There used to be a lot more, but as of now, well, which is July 2024, there are only two left. Not every train stops at those two stations, but uh, we will be coming back there later, don't worry. So Sellafield, the first station we're uh, getting out at, it's got a very interesting platform layout. Uh, the station seems to only really serve a sort of nuclear power plant. But anyway, we're going to now go and walk to Sea Scale. This feels incredibly strange. This feels like an area that I shouldn't be. But it is part of the England coastal path, so perfectly fine. What on earth trains are these? Interesting. Oh, a level crossing. Gosh. How uh, <laughs> in interesting level crossing. Just a little, um, little one for the uh, siding to get into the nuclear power plant. Oh god, this bridge is... Uh, mm, I'd have to kind of crouch to get under this. It's so, it's so short. <laughs> goes under the railway line over to the, probably the coast over there, but <laughs> it's so short. You can't really get a path much better than this. I mean, that side you've got the railway line, and this side you've got the sea. Like, yeah, this is very, very nice. All right, we have made it to Seascale Station. Nice walk that, but God, my bag is so heavy. My back's killing. So we just realized that the next like few stations don't have any shops near, and we had like 10 minutes before the train. Um, and there's a co-op like four minutes away, so Nick just ran. I, I jogged it to the, uh, <laughs> the, the co-op co down the road. Got me a Pepsi, you another bottle. And me another water, <laughs> so we're good, thankfully. So, thank you, Nick. Oh my god. Yay. <laughs> All right, so we're leaving Seascale now. That was a nice station, it looked like a nice area. Yeah, shame we didn't yeah. get to explore much. You can just see the hills oh, over oh. there. Whatever. So we're going to Bootle next. Nice. Yeah, a few stops down, but... Yeah. Cool, cool. I love coastal railway services so much. So pretty. But they are so nice. The mountains on that side. I mean, I'd love to show you the views, but unfortunately it looks like the exposure on my camera is not liking it. But it's very nice, I swear.
All right, Bootle that's got a manually operated level crossing and semaphore. This place feels very, very old. I love it. So it says here, because of small gaps that there are in the England Coast Path Trail, they actually recommend you using the train to get between or get over some of the gaps. They recommend it on here. That is, I, I really like that. Well, as much as we'd like to have a look around, our uh, train is only about 13 minutes after we got in here, and I think it's pulling in right now. Oh, hey, 156. I'm going to be so tired of these by the end of this. One of these hills back here, I'm not exactly sure which one, but one of them is Scarfell Pike, the uh, tallest mountain in England. Anyway, we're pulling into Drig now, let's go. Hey, hey, Drig. Drig. Brilliant. It's so, it's so beautiful. All the stations down here are so nice. This is becoming one of my favorite lines, the Cumbrian coast. Now, with regards to Bootle and Drig, I'm already anticipating the comments this video is probably going to get. Um, for the record, they are already on the list. I will do them as point to points, maybe, sometime, eventually. I don't know. They're on the list of possibilities. <laughs> Lovely little shop that runs next to Drig Station. That's great. You've got I, yourself a, a, got a sorbet. I pear sorbet. It was, it was, yeah. it was a really funny coincidence. <laughs> the, the lady in there said, oh, they've not had a restock of... Um, ice cream today and they were due soon. So I was like, okay, sure. They only had a few flavors, that's why I had a pear sorbet. And came then out, we walk I outside, we sit down. And then the guy who was delivering it came. Ah, oh, well, it's a very nice pear sorbet. Typical, Quite typical. Quite refreshing. As long as it's nice. That's what matters. <laughs> Looks like none of the uh, electricity or whatever it is, is working here. There's no, ticket machine, there's no lights in the waiting shelter and there's nothing on this screen, it's just, there's, there's nothing. Wonderful, wonderful. I really, really like to drink. That was a very nice station. I mean, it might just be the fact that it's really sunny for the first time in about a month. And it sort of influenced my opinion of the station, but that was really nice. I really like that. So, next station up is Sylcroft. We've got the beach on one side. We've got hills on the other side. We're, we're spoiled for views right here. Exactly. It's so good. Sylcroft, another wonderful looking station in the sun. So because our train here was slightly late, we haven't got incredibly long at Solcroft. We've got about, I think, 19 minutes until the return train, but it's enough time to have a little mooch. Honestly, just happening to be in a place when it's sunny just makes the place look so much nicer. I imagine if I was here on an overcast or drizzly day, I would think kind of eh, but when I'm here in the sun, and everything. It's so beautiful. So this is my first time in Sylcroft, but it's your second yeah, time in Sylcroft. Yeah, uh, two years ago, um, with like, there was like 10 of us, uh, uh, some friends, and we stayed in a, a little cottage just up the road. So, like, and back then this was a request stop, so. Yeah. <laughs> so on the topic of the whole request stop thing, yeah, there used to be a lot more request stops on this line. There were like nine, nine of the stations were request stops, and now only two of them are, Nethertown and Braystones. I mean, Sylcroft, Bootle and Drig that we've already been to in this video so far, they were all request stops at one point, but now only Nethertown and Braystones are. So on that topic, we're going to go to the first of the two request stops after this. We're going to go to Braystones. That looked like a former station. 
I feel like over the next couple of days I'm going to be very tired of 156s. They're everywhere down this line. Ooh, I'm not sure if it picks up on camera, but I think we can see the Isle of Man over there in the distance. Next stop's Greystones. We've locked it in with the guard so we can get out. That is the biggest Harrington hump I have ever seen in my life. This is the good stuff. Look at this. We've got a lovely beach here. It's sunny. There's a station right there. Like, this is amazing. This is why we visit stations. This is, like, I, I would never have come here otherwise. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, you can very, very clearly see the Isle of Man over there on the horizon. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's like 40 miles away from here, but yeah, you can see it very clearly from here. Now that the sun has moved a bit, it's a lot less hazy than it was this morning. I would love to have a holiday home in a place like this one day. Although given the current housing market, I don't even know if I'll ever be able to afford a regular home, but that's a story for another day. So we are going to walk to Nethertown Station now, which is about 40 minutes all along the coast. So yeah, that's gonna be nice. Been looking forward to doing this part all day. So I believe another town station is just beyond this headland in front of us. All right, we've made our way around the headland. And there's Nethertown Station over there. Brill. Hmm. Getting through this is going to be an interesting task. There's seaweed and big rocks everywhere. Oh, this is dodgy. There's a lot of mud and stuff. Oh, don't sink, don't sink. Okay, thank you. Nice. I should not be filming this at the same time, but oh well, it's for the content. It's situations like this that I could really Really use a GoPro, I think. Okay. Oh, finally. Right. Back on an actual path again. Whew, I was exhausted. Well, the station's up there and there's no path through that gate, it says. So I think we have to go down here and like under this, under this walkway. Another town station. A very, very weird case of actually kind of being able to go on a disused platform on a single line. Nice, that's quite unique. It just doesn't quite feel right. Like, I'm so used to it being, you know, lines where formerly double track, but now single track. And there's only one platform in use, but you're normally not allowed on, you know, the disused ones. But here you are, because you kind of need it to get across to the actual in-use platform. So, that's a cool quirk of Nethertown Station. Nethertown Station is so good. I really like it. This is probably in some of my top favourite stations it's, it's now. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I'm just so exhausted after that <laughs> wrong turn. I think we, we, we took a wrong turn at some point on the path. And well, We weren't meant to be there. That but... was definitely not meant to be a path. I think we were meant to like yeah. go through the headland, not around it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well, too late now. We did it. Oh, hello. Point to point shirt. By now at Nats.art. I, I mean, we're not on a point to point. But I know, I know. You can get but... yours for when you travel on your point to points. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. A station where you can go on a disuse platform, you're right next to the beach, you can see the Isle of Man. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh so yeah, I really, really like the Cumbrian coastline. I'm yeah. a big fan of it. It's yeah. a lot better on a nice day. Yeah, it's, it's a lot nicer when the day is sunny and warm. But, but it's definitely worth yeah, the trip at some point absolutely. if you haven't been here. It's... Absolutely. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Mm. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you for supporting the channel.